Welcome back guys, it's Elwood here from Not So Serious Gaming. Today I'll be showing you the full easter egg guide to Cold to Todd created by Boxcar Racer for Noah's Mapping Competition. You spawn within a dark and dingy woods with nothing apart from an empty pistol that you can't even knife with and your wits. And if you're anything like me, that's on short supply. Luckily, as you make your way towards a cabin, you'll come across an ammo cache that you can loot. Another cool feature that I just had to mention was the Car 98K. I just love this gun as I'm an OG World at War player, but this mapper had taken it to an entire new level. This gun, Unpack Punch, was able to one-shot multiple zombies up to round 17, which I just loved and wanted to mention for those who want to take this map up with a bit of a challenge. So, I challenge you all, can you complete this map with just the Car 98K? Now let's get into the nice and quick easter egg. How to open power, mystery box and the pack a punch. Step 1. Find and shoot 8 unlit lanterns. This will trigger doors upstairs to open and a door underneath the stairs to open just by the entrance of the house that will reveal the power switch. As you drop into the main area of the map you can walk around the wall towards the right leading towards a burning wreckage. You will come across a wagon on your left hand side with the lantern on it just here. Looking at the OP car 98, look over on the wall towards the right and it's just over here. As you enter the main house the third one's just on the right on the barrel here. Head behind the fireplace and you'll enter a small kitchen. Look outside the window on the right and it's just on the barrel in front of you. As you head upstairs towards the MP40 wall by, the fifth one can be found on top of the cabinet just here. As you continue through the top floor of the house, look left at this chair. You'll notice it's just on here by the double doors that lead to the box. Heading towards the other stairs, you'll come across a piano. The lantern can be found on the right hand side of this just on this bookshelf. The eighth and final one can be found as you head down the staircase. Just look outside this window and it's on the barrel here. Three doors have now opened. Two lead into the magic box, and the last one is just in the entrance of the house. Just turn left and the power switch is in here. Pack a punch. Now the power is on, you must find three numbers on clipboards and enter them into the panel pad next to the gate. However, there's actually five locations that they can all be in, although the blue number always remains in the same place, just in the mystery box room. The yellow digits will either be in the kitchen or just by the piano. Head into the kitchen and one's on the table just here. If it's not there, then head upstairs and it can be found on top of the piano just here. The red location can be found either behind the fireplace on the way to the kitchen you'll come across an armor station. One of the numbers is just here on the left. The other can be found in the front garden. As you head towards the other armor station over by the wreckage, it can be found on the right hand side here. Enter these into the gate and pack a punch will now be open. Not only that, but the buyable ending is now available for the 25k. I really hope you enjoyed my guide for this great but very dark map. If you did, then please consider subscribing. It's free and really helps a small channel out like myself. You all have been amazing, where I have been Elwood from Not So Serious Gaming. Hope you have a great morning, evening, night, whatever freaking time it is. I hope you have a great one and peace out. Yeah. What the f*** was that?